Hey everybody, I have gotten a few requests on how to find our freshman seminar uh, folders so that way you can get to all of your um, files that you need uh, on a weekly basis. So first off, I am in my Google Drive, start off there. Then you're going to go over here to the left hand side where it says shared drives and click on that. Alright, now we're going to go to the one that says HHS Secondary Resources, and we're going to click inside there. All right, so as this comes up, I want to just let you guys know that this quick access area, please do not click on any form or any anything that you see up there because more than likely that is somebody making changes so just leave that alone don't touch those items up there what I want you to do is come down here to where it says CTE and click on that folder to open that up now you should see the list of classes in CTE and you'll see freshman success so go inside that one all right, so now you come to two folders. We have a do not open and we have a teacher folders. So the do not open one, please respect what it says. Do not open this. This is where we're keeping our original documents that we're working on with this class and keeping everything in one spot. Um, you just need to focus on this teacher folders right here. Okay, so go to that one. And inside here, you will see everybody that is teaching the course, okay? So you will find your class, okay, your folder with your name on it. Only go inside yours, okay? So I'm going to open up mine. You'll see I have two syllabus right here. Um, one is the one that is blank that has where I have to um, fill in things. The second one is the one where I've actually filled out my name and all my contact information. So um, they are done in Word, so you'll have to download the blank one and upload it once you have um, added the changes. So you're going to click inside the weekly lesson folder, because once the syllabus is done, you don't really have to touch that again until the next school year. So we'll go inside the weekly lesson folders. So as the year progresses, you will start seeing more weeks um, fly into this folder all the way up to week like 36. So, so far we have week one in here. And now you can see all of the files and the different slideshows, PowerPoints, whatever you might need for that week. Um, your lesson plan will always be up here at the top so that you can quickly access that. Then you have, um, like we have a Google slideshow, a, a, a form for the kids to fill out. Um, these are the items that you will use. So um, I do want to click on uh, the lesson plan and show you the format for the lesson plan. So um, we have tweaked this a little bit to make it fit our class, but you'll always have um, the freshman success, the dates, um, we don't currently have any SOL or CT competencies, um, so we're just going to, to scroll down here. We will put the learning target. These are the tasks that the kids will be working on that week. These are the assessments, okay? And then how we know that the students were successful, all right? So I will always include the day of the week and the date. Um, your warm-up will always be in this format asking them to answer this question in three to five complete sentences. How do you feel about the new year starting virtually? Every day, the questions will either be a social emotional learning type question, or the question will have something to do with the topic for the day or something we covered the day or two before. Okay, so those are the, the three different options for their questions. Then I have um, teacher instruction. Okay, trying to give you as many notes as possible, but this is what the teacher instruction is obviously what you will be doing. So make sure you are aware of what is going on. And then the activities that the class will be doing. Okay, um, 
the first day of school kind of activities. We've got a scavenger hunt, making sure they're logging into Newzella, AES, etc. Um, there's a Newzella article and then an AES module on Friday. Okay, and then at the bottom we put this is the things that you're expecting them to turn in every single day. Okay. So um, that's your lesson plan. This is what you will need to make sure you put on your website so that way the students and the parents know what is going on, okay? So just to give you an example, um, I'm, look, I'm gonna open up a slideshow so that you'll see um, you will get a blank, not a blank copy, but you will get a copy that you will have to fill in different things like your name, um, I added a bitmoji whenever it comes up here, okay? Um, just kind of give you some ideas. Here is my introduction. That way I can share about my kids and such. Um, and at the bottom of every slide, you'll see that I put some notes, okay? Um, that way you can give you are going to be reading these notes so you know what to do with this slide, okay? Um, and then you can add to it, um, add your icebreaker here, my office hours, and then you're gonna go, now we're going into the content. And so I'm telling you in the bottom, these are the little note sections so that way you can um, read the notes or discuss whatever you need to. Um, and then like the different links. This right here is a link to the student info form. At, in the notes, please put the link to your student information form underneath the paragraph, okay? All you do for that, go back to your Google Drive, okay? Um, let's say this is the freshman success student information form, okay? Open up your form. You click on the send button. and click the link and it will populate a link right here and then you just copy it okay go back to your slideshow copy your wording here the student info form and right up here on your toolbar it says insert link you paste it right here and I had done the shortened link you can do the since the kids aren't going to see the actual link, you can do the shortened link or a long link, um, but you will paste it here and hit apply, and then that is where you know it will send your your students will click on that, and it will go. I have also put this um, in Google Classroom, so if you don't want to put the link there, or if you want to tell your students, you know, please go to Google Classroom, then you can do that as well. That's the same for any um, forms that you do or any time you need them to go to another page. Um, this syllabus quiz right here, um, I put a tutorial in the bottom for quizzes so you, you know how to use them. Um, the link is the same for everyone so you don't have to change this link. It will take the kids to quizzes and make them log in to go to your class, okay? But if you have any questions, you can ask me or you can ask uh, Miss Edmonds about quizzes, okay? Um, I will have a video for you right here that you'll be able to play. Um, and just make sure you go through each week, whenever, you know, the day before or the couple days before, just go through your any slideshows and make sure you are ready to go. So um, again, if you have any questions um, about setting any of this up, um, just feel free to ask um, and then review the video in order to get back into um, your shared drive to get to this folder. All right, thanks so much.